Starting with the year of the Griffin, Hearthstone team introduced us to the new core set, which is a list of free cards that we get to use throughout the entire year. And each year, this core set is going to be changing. Instead of just having the classic or basic set, the core set contains 235 cards that are just all over the place. They can be brand new cards or cards that we've seen before that are coming back from wild. The team has even been willing to buff certain cards to make them more competitively viable and useful in the core set. So these are the cards that I want in the core set. Let me know what cards you want in the core set with a comment down below and make sure you subscribe while you're there. A lot of you aren't and I would appreciate it. From the grand tournament, we were introduced to one of my favorite cards of all time, Justicar Trueheart, who had the battle cry to replace your hero power with a better one. A lot of these weren't meta defining, but Warrior being able to gain four armor instead of two was a really big change and definitely added a new layer to control. I do think if Justicar Trueheart was added to the core set, she would have to be buffed in some way because I think at six mana this card might be too slow. I would think maybe about four or five mana would be fine for this effect. In Journey to Angoro, we saw one of the best anti-aggro tools we've ever seen with Tar Creeper. Tar Creeper was a three mana one five elemental with taunt, has plus two attack during your opponent's turn. This card was just a really strong minion, really well designed, and I think it makes perfect sense to have in the core set. Especially if they want to slow the game down a little bit, Tar Creeper would be a perfect minion to have because every single class just likes a good taunt minion. With Rogue getting a bunch of new Burgle mechanics released in Fractured and Alterac Valley, a really cool card to have back from Rise of Shadows would be Underbelly Fence. Underbelly Fence was a 2 mana 2 3 Rogue minion. Battle Cry, if you're holding a card from another class, gain plus 1 plus 1 and rush. This card was fun because it didn't feel oppressive, but it also felt like it was good enough to see play in almost any Burgle deck. It was good against tempo matchups and it was just a fine minion against other slower decks. With Druid losing Overgrowth and Lightning Bloom, I think Druid does need a little bit more ramp to keep the class identity intact. And I think one of the best ways of doing this was with Greedy Sprite, which was a three mana, three one death rattle gain an empty mana crystal. Now I do think they might have to buff this to two mana for it to actually see play, but I do like the way this card is designed and it's a healthy way of ramp in Druid. This might be a hot take, but in Rise of Shadows, they introduced Warrior into the bomb mechanic, which basically shuffled bombs into your opponent's deck. And when they drew them, they would explode, dealing damage to the enemy hero. And the reason I want bombs back in is because a lot of classes draw a lot of cards, and especially in a combo oriented deck, they draw a lot of cards. But with bombs shuffled in their deck, it becomes a lot more punishing. And I think that kind of counterplay would be really nice to have back in standard. They also just printed Kazakus, which could be used in order to counter the bombs in your deck by completely replacing it. It just seems like an absolute win. So adding Wrench Caliber, which was a four mana three, two weapon for warrior after your hero attacks, shuffle a bomb into your opponent's deck and Clockwork Goblin, which is the same thing, but on a battle cry. Both of these cards added to the core set would be a very nice way to deal with combo decks. Another card that could do virtually the same thing is the Darkness, a four mana 2020 minion that starts dormant and has a battle cry to shuffle three candles into the enemy deck when drawn this awakens this card didn't see a lot of play when it was first released but i think if they buffed it to three mana and there is still a huge amount of draw into the core set this card could actually be pretty fun to play with one of my favorite cards from whispers of the old gods was renounce darkness a two mana warlock spell replace your hero power in warlock cards with another classes the cards cost one less now, obviously, I don't think this card is going to be the meta defining card that we expect it to be, but I do think that having a place for meme cards in the core set should be extremely important. And this one is the most fun meme card I've ever had because it just makes every single game feel so wacky and they could easily buff this up to one mana just to make sure you can play it exactly on turn one for a warlock. And I think it would be a perfect fit for the core set. One of the tech cards I think they should add into the core set from Descent of Dragons is Living Dragon Breath a three mana three four with the text your minions can't be frozen this card would be perfect to play around all the new freeze mechanics and on top of this just give it tradable and this card will probably see play in a metagame that needs it speaking of tech cards i would really appreciate having dirty rat in the core set a two mana two six neutral minion with taunt battle cry your opponent summons a random minion from their hand this card is almost like mutinous but i think dirty rat has the privilege of being played more 
effectively against an aggro deck because it has a pretty good stat line and of course you're always going to take the chance in the early game to just summon a really big minion but i think on average having dirty rat in the core set just feels better than mutinous because it's a lot cheaper to use and it's just a faster card sometimes you don't have until seven mana to actually try to hit their combo pieces i also want to talk about lotheb here for a second a lot of people think they want him back in the core set because they think they can counter a bunch of these spell decks but lotheb was mainly used as a finisher for aggro decks and i don't think we want lotheb back in the game from rise of shadows big mage got a huge increase of power level because of a very special legendary caligos a 10 mana 412 dragon your first spell each turn costs zero and it had the battle cry to discover a spell in all track valley they wanted to make big spell mage an actual archetype and this card would be a perfect fit for the class especially because they added drake fire amulet in the new mini set which is the ability to discover two dragons and summon them it seems like this would go hand in hand speaking of promoting a slower mage archetype arcane artificer is a perfect example of a card that actually wants control mage to work which is a one mana one two elemental whenever you cast a spell gain armor equal to its cost it's simple you put big spells in the core set and you recently released big spells in fracture and alterac valley arcane artificer promotes a slower archetype the puzzles just come together i would really appreciate having shield block back for control warrior i thought that card was completely fine and it just felt so good to play in any slower warrior deck you know they gotta add boulder fist ogre back to the core set it's honestly should be illegal for them to take it out of the core set it's the best card it's perfectly balance it has great cost for the stats like come on one card i think they should keep in for sure is talent Fordring. i think that card is extremely well designed it's a good mid-range tool it helps you get your win condition and i think that's pretty good for the game to have a consistent draw engine like that now, rather than talking about the cards that I want to stay in, let's talk about some cards that I would really appreciate if the Hearthstone team could take out of the chord set. Number one on the list, Shadow Step. This card has seen play all the way since closed beta because of how powerful the effect is. It would be nice to get a little break from the card. Take all of the discard mechanics that you gave to Warlock in their core set because it literally did nothing and it just took up space. There's so many cooler Warlock cards to be added in. Shadow form. That's a moment of silence for the amount of times this card has been played, which is zero. I think the one I want the most removed though is Gorhal, not because the card sees play on its own, but it's extremely frustrating to get this card off of the pirate warrior quest because sometimes that just wins the game for you. That kind of sucks. Overall, I do think that they did a really good job with the core set. It was a very smart idea to add into Hearthstone as it made the game a lot more accessible. And I'm excited to see what they do with the core set this year, what cards they decide to add in, and more importantly, what new cards they make.